Today we are going to clean the 2940s. So if you remember the 2940s, the video where I put boot oil on and I thought that I ruined them, which I told you guys, people have commented like, oh, give me the boots. If you ruin them, I'll take them. <laughs> They're actually fine. This is how they look after that um, boot oil treatment. Totally fine. So we're going to clean these today. And the reason I'm cleaning these, if you saw the video of me going to Vancouver, the first trip, the road trip, I took my Westcos and I took a pair of Rios and Mercedes. So I had never been to Vancouver and I had no idea that it was such a walking city. So my Rios and Mercedes ropers that I took with me, they got thrashed. <laughs> it's also very, at, well, when I was there, it was not as wet, but it's a very wet city. It rains quite a bit there, um, which I did know, but um, I had no idea they, I would be walking so much. So the second time I went out there, which was in December, I brought these because I was like, okay, I know I'm going to be walking. So I'm going to bring something like this. That's soft. And I know it rains. So I'll bring a boot and I uh, brought a pair of my Westco Morrison's. So this, I brought the West Morrison's, Westco Morrison's again, because I just love those and it's a pull on boot and, it's just super easy. Okay, so going there, <laughs> it snowed for the first time in like 30 something years in Vancouver when I was there in December. Now I have to tell you, these boots are not good for snow. This is the same sole, this is the crepe sole, same sole as the Rover that came out. And this is just a horrible, horrible boot for snow. I was slipping. We were, we were going out to just to do, you know, some shopping or whatnot. And I had to walk very gingerly and not fall and bust my booty in front of everyone on uh, Robson Street in Vancouver while, while shopping. So not a good soul for snow and ice. Even like walking, uh, I, we take the, the, uh, the metro, the subway there and going from, if it's like sl slick, turning the corner with these, I honestly almost busted my, my bottom. So I ended up wearing my Westco Morrison's in the snow. Um, so I did wear these when, once the snow, you know, melted and we did walks along the water and I did get these step in salt water. So that's why I need to clean these because there's sand in the welt and salt water. You probably see, I don't know if you can see, there's some salt water marks on here. So I'm gonna give these a cleaning. And then this time, um, so I have my sponge here with some warm soap. This I'm using the Red Wing soap here. This is basically the kit they give you if you get the uh, Red Wing cleaning kit you'll get a sponge and you'll get the soap so that's what I'm using here to get some of this I should have washed them as soon as I got back from walking the dogs just to get some of that salt water off but um, I kind of was just like in a rush a bit so I didn't but ideally what you want to do if you get salt water on your leather is just give them a quick rinse. But I kind of like to challenge my boots, challenge the leather. <laughs> I guess being that, you know, when you have so many boots, you can kind of just like beat some up more because, you know, if they really get ruined, you just have others. I was definitely su surprised how poor these were in, in um, snow and ice because I've worn the natural cork in snow and didn't have, didn't have many issues at all um, slipping. So I was definitely surprised with that. It made me kind of think, should I just replace the sole on here and get something else, get something different? But I do have other eight inch boots with um, ice cutter sole and 
the command also. So I would just use those, but I tried. <laughs> and I'm going back to Vancouver in a few days and I'm trying to decide which boots do I take now while I'm there. And I only wanna, I, like I said, I, I usually take two, but I may only take one pair. It depends. I'm waiting for something to come in the mail. And uh, I wanna take those, but I haven't heard anything. So I'm trying to decide, do I take only the Beckman for the entire time that I'm there? Or do I take an Iron Ranger with a Vibram sole, I can't, uh, I can't decide. I don't know, I'm not sure. But these, I ended up wearing my West Coast because <laughs> these just didn't work out. And we also went on a hike in snow and surprisingly, I'm gonna shock all of you guys, I didn't wear boots at all. I ended up wearing some Adidas hiking shoes with Gore-Tex because they kept my feet dry, surprisingly dry and warm. So I wore wool socks and those Adidas Gore-Tex with Boost on the hike. We did like mm, four, four days of hiking in the snow and my feet never got cold. So I know I've always like boot, 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 but I actually wore, I cheated and I wore sneakers and I'm glad I did in the end because my feet were dry and warm. And normally my feet always get cold, immediately get cold. Okay, so I'm gonna let these dry and then we, we will apply. This time I'm gonna go with leather cream. I'm gonna put leather cream on this Oro instead of that boot oil that I did. And it, it was looking like this when I did the boot oil, like this staining and I freaked out, if you, if you guys remember. But it dried and they came back to normal and this, so. After these dry, we'll put on the leather cream. Boots are dry, boots are clean. They look really good and I wouldn't necessarily put something on there to condition, but we'll do it only because they were in contact with salt water. Leather cream, let's do the leather cream this time. <laughs> no mistake. I was curious since I'm wearing gloves, if I should just do the dip with the glove or with the rag. I know many times I'd use the rag with leather cream because it's easy to spread, but I was kind of debating. If you've seen my videos, conditioning videos, you know with mink oil, I use my hand because the heat from my hands helps spreading the mink oil, but we'll just do with the rag for the leather cream. We'll keep it tidy. Make sure you get the tongue. I'm a big fan of the Oro, this Oro leather. Red Wing did come out recently with a mock toe in this Oro. And then also the Gore-Tex, two mock toes, the Gore-Tex version, and then there's the standard version. I think the standard version is an Irish setter that they came out with, with this leather. I'm a big fan of it. It goes, it's easy to style, it goes well with a lot. And it looks really great with denim, just pops. And also looks great if you're wearing chinos, if you're wearing a, a uh, khaki or tobacco colored chino. It looks great there too. The thing about leather cream is it spreads really easily and evenly. So it's, there's a few things. It dries quickly and then on top of drying quickly, it spreads easily. So the only thing, the only issue sometimes is the, is you have to apply it more often versus like if you did mink oil, you could, you're usually good. But although if you're not in the elements, you don't really have to worry about it, worry too much about it. So you can see how it just kind of like 
it gives it a shine and it's also, you can tell how dry this one is after being cleaned with soap. I know a lot of guys, they'll ask me about um, not, they don't want their boots to darken too much. And so I think using leather cream on your amber harness, leather cream on your copper rough and tough is probably the way to go if you're afraid to darken your, your boots. So when, when guys ask me about that, that's what I usually recommend, this leather cream. As you can see, I was wearing these with a denim because you can see some of the crocking that's happened on the shaft from the denim that I was wearing. Yeah, they're looking good. Back to being happy. These were, so I travel with a boot bag and these were in the boot bag since I uh, returned. So that's about, uh, what are we in March? Been about two months in a boot bag. So taking these out finally and giving them, having a chance to give them a, a cleaning. You can see the rag here, got a little bit of the leather color on there. I'm just going to hit the toe here again. Just some spots, but yeah, they look good. Someone asked me also recently about the laces, keeping the laces from, from breaking. I do condition my laces, leather laces. I think it's important because you don't want them to dry, to get dry. And if they get dry and you're pulling your, your boot lace tight, it will snap. So yes, it is important that you do condition your leather laces. So what I do sometimes, um, mink oil is what I, I like to use, but since I have the leather cream out here, uh, just take a finger, tip and my thumb and my middle finger, these three, and then just pull the lace through and just give that lace. Cause this, these will definitely snap on you. We got a little bit of a tangle here. Hold on. You can't neglect the, uh, the lace, your laces. So usually the three fingers and just go through like that. Make sure every bit, every inch of the, the lace gets some love. And that will help to um, give these, wow, this <laughs> got a knot in here again. That will help to give your leather laces some, some life, a long, longer life. Because I know for a while, Red Wing was not making these. They, they were having um, trouble sourcing, so a lot of the leather laces were hard to come by. So if you were looking for some, although you can find leather laces on Amazon, but... Don't know the quality of them, of an Amazon leather lace. So yeah, that's what I do. I'm gonna hit the second one as well. And you can see the difference in the, uh, a, dry, a dry lace and, or like I should say a thirsty, a thirsty lace and one that's been treated. You can see this one's thirsty. This one's well, well moisturized. So I can't remember who it was who asked me, but yes, I do condition my leather laces. It's well important.
And you can tell like as I'm pulling this through like this and the dry, once it gets to the dry bits, it's not as smooth. And uh, since I have gloves, it's even uh, more obvious as I'm pulling this through where it's dry and where, what, see right here, this is rough getting it through where it needs it. And then it becomes just smoother as you pull through. And that's how you know. Smooth, smooth, smooth. Any bit that's rough, then right here, this is rough. You hit that. Pull through. Bam. Perfect. You want it to be smooth going through. Any rough bits, just hit it one more time. All right, now let's lace these boots now that they are looking purdy. And so I still have a little bit of leather cream on my gloves, which is totally fine. Because it'll just give some conditioning to anything that's needed. So I'm going to lace these. Yeah, these laces are looking good. Boots are looking sharp, ready to go. Look at that. There you have it, the 2940 Red Wing Boot, the Oral Russet condition with leather cream, also conditioned the laces after having some exposure to salt water. They're back to looking fantastic and ready to hit the elements once more. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and we'll see you guys next time with some more boots. Some leather jacket, some jeans, something, a hat, I don't know. <laughs> Be a boot. See you guys next time.